He's All That stars Addison Rae, TikTok turned actor, and she plays an influencer in this movie. A bit of a stretch, but I think she did a good job. I'm not, not He's All That. I watch bad movies on Netflix, so you don't have to. I think Netflix is really in a comfortable pocket now. They can make movies for about 10 to $20 million. They don't have to be particularly good. They just have to have that sort of Netflix gloss. Like somebody said the other day that Netflix movies are almost like fake movies. And you really have to kind of understand where that person is coming from, but it is actually kind of right. He's All That stars Addison Rae, TikTok turned actor, and she plays an influencer in this movie. A bit of a stretch, but I think she did a good job. I'm not, not. And Rachel Lee Cook from the 1999 version of the movie is now her mother. I don't think they're the same characters. I don't know, didn't really look into it that much. But they're both in the movie. I think it's to almost kind of point out the fact that this is the exact same movie as the one that you've already seen. Or maybe that you haven't seen because you weren't born when the original one came out. But anyway, it's the same movie, except for instead of objectifying women, because you would get canceled for that nowadays, you objectify men, which I think is totally okay. But the problem I have with this particular swapping is that Tanner Buchanan, who plays the dude, is not really losery or nerdy enough. He likes photography, he likes horseback riding, and he wears a beanie. But he's not somebody that you could foresee not being a prom king if he really wanted to be. Because I think that if this movie really wanted to challenge itself, they would have had the guy be like, like a, like, like a Redditor. Man, bathroom! What, huh? Bathroom! Bathroom! Oh, that's a big boy, isn't he? Tanner's not a bad looking kid. He's already a pretty good looking kid. It's just the fact that he's got a beanie. I guess that's supposed to mean that he's kind of dirty and hippie-ish. Watching this movie is like being stuck for two hours watching straight TikTok, which to some people, including myself, is absolute torture. And I feel like I'm being pretty brave, pretty courageous. But there have been the constant continuity errors that people have pointed out, like that section where Addison Rae passes out flyers, but she's not actually passing them out. No one else listens to. Like, uh, bad brain, bad religion. The shots in which people will straight up look at the camera, and because of bad editing, they didn't edit it out. <laughs> bad ADR, in which some of the actors' mouths don't move. And now she's starting her own squad with Jordan. Unbelievable. Wow, look at you. I don't know whether the filmmakers themselves were trying to sabotage Addison, or whether it was just out of pure incompetence, but None of those things are actually Addison's fault. When she's handing out flyers, for example, that's a typical thing that you do when you make movies. It's called cheating of movement. The reason why the filmmakers requested that she do this is because when you hand out flyers, it makes paper sounds. And if you have dialogue that you're also delivering at the same time, the sound of the paper may interfere with the dialogue. So they had her mime it. But the camera operator is not supposed to put this in frame so that we as the audience see that. For ADR, it's the same thing. You can just push into the other actor without showing the back of her head in which it's just very clear that she's not moving her mouth. But yeah, I think the most offensive thing about this movie is that it was boring. And that's my review. I give this movie a 2.5 out of 10. It's pretty good.